you guys, I'm Lana. And I'm Noah. And we are going to be on this week's episode of Truth or Dab. <laughs> ah, you think we can handle the heat? Probably not. I'm ready, I'm so excited. You know what? what? Fun fact really quickly before we get into this. I like it. I don't know if you remember this, but there was one day on set where, like I carry around habanero sauce with me, yeah, and yeah. there was one day on set where we were kind of bored and sleepy, and so do you remember you were in my trailer, and we, we tried, like, tested who could have the most hot sauce. I do remember and it was a huge mistake, because then we got to work, we got, we went to set and we were like, <gasps> that is so fun. So I think we're gonna be good. They were like, cut, what's wrong? And we were like, nothing. <laughs> we just made a huge mistake. <laughs> yes. I do remember that. We're ready. It's happening. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, what's going on everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Truth or Dab, the hot one special where we give our guests two simple options, tell the truth or suffer the wrath of the last dab. And today I'm excited to welcome Noah Centineo and Lana Condor together. Hey. They yes. star and to all the boys, P.S. I Still Love You, the highly anticipated follow-up to their 2018 hit rom-com, which is set to hit Netflix on February 12th. Thanks for having I'm us. I'm so excited. I, well, I'm such a huge fan of the show. Like, I, I was just saying, like, this was the fastest email I've ever responded to, because <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, absolutely, I want to be a part of it. And I've also always, like, whenever I'm watching it, I'm like, what does it taste like? What does it taste like? So I'm so happy to, like, finally try it out and see what happens. Yeah, I'm just terrified, so it's cool. I'm really scared. <laughs> Noah, we'll start with you. I love it. Go ahead. Give it to me. I can smell it. You've been dubbed the internet's boyfriend, mm -hmm. and by all accounts, a true fan and student of the rom-com genre. I know you study the likes of Matthew McConaughey and Mark Ruffalo. Mm -hmm. But in real life, I'm curious, what would you say was the most thoughtful, over-the-top, romantic gesture you've ever done for someone you're interested in? I just want to try one of these ways. You know yeah. Diving right in. Off the bat. What is it like? Which one is this one? Mm -hmm. ah! That was a mistake. Did you smell I it? I snipped it. Went right through the bag. Went right up. Right to, yep. Mm, I'm pretty good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. No, just digging that wing. Oh my god, really? Oh boy. Okay. Oh my god. Your nose is sweating. Hey, so I, you know, this is why we have one towel. Do I have to eat the whole thing? Does it's up to you. Oh, God. It's up to you. Guys, I'm prepared. Okay. <laughs> I sweat. This is what happens. Oh, my gosh. All right, Lana. Yes. We'll put the attention on you because okay. I know that in addition to being an actress, you're also a very accomplished dancer. I know that you studied with the Joffrey Ballet. Yes. But you know, ballet, it can be such a demanding art form and the instructors can sometimes have these notorious reputations for being ruthless and unforgiving. Mm hmm is there a horror story from your years in dance that you can share with the internet? A horror story from my years in dance that I can share with the internet. That's a good one. Um, well, yeah, I went to, I, I, I did like a conservatory once and they told all the girls like what we could eat for the day. And what we could eat for the day was like an apple and like three pieces of lettuce. And I just thought it was like so traumatizing because as like a young woman, you're kind of like, you're so, you take what's told to you and you're kind of like, oh my God, and you digest it. So it freaked me out a lot. And I was like, that's not healthy. You have to eat more than just an apple and three lettuce things. So, yeah. There you have it. Act one in the books. Noah, how you doing? Good. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, it came out of nowhere. It hit you? No, that's not that bad. My nose is dripping. His <laughs> eyes are straight up watering. It's happening. It's not so bad. It's hot. But it's not so bad. Don't no. Okay, fine. I'll take this off. Caught. I think you're. I think that I caught a mistake. little bit of that. That was a mistake. <laughs> Singe the eyebrows. Oh. Okay. All, All right. right. I'm sorry, but by the way, if I can just comment on that, that's insane. Yeah. I've heard that about ballet, man. Yeah. All right. I want you to get real about your co-star Noah. Can you rank the following Noah Centineo films from best to worst? I like this question. What? No! You gotta do it. You gotta do from it. From best to worst? From best one. to worst? Well, they're all bad, but you know, work on it. <laughs> Sierra hey. Burgess is a loser. The perfect date, SPF 18. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I can't. Okay, I'm going in. She can't do that because she hasn't seen any of them. 
Out of Ooh. curiosity, have you seen Turkles? No! Bro. <laughs> Whoa, dude! I like that. I laid that on my tongue. Oh no! Whoa. Is it spicy? Whoa! Whoa! Oh! You can borrow my towel if you want. How many bites? Did you ate the whole thing? Most of it. There's some. You know, there is some. I'm just as good as I'm just as good as Noah. <laughs> I'm just as good as Noah. You got it. Noah. Yeah, buddy. In 2019, okay. you guys won an MTV Movie Award for Best Kiss, so my guess is Lana <gasps> is not in the conversation. But who knows? That's why you play the game Truth or Dab. Noah, of all your on-screen love interests, oh who was the worst on-screen kisser and uh -huh. why? Oh, it's building, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you finished the whole thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you take a drink? You know, um... Man, I should have, I should have, I should have answered the other one, and I should have ate one on this one. That's kind of how we lined it up. I, yeah, it's smart, my guy. <laughs> so here's the thing: when I was 11 years old, I did a movie called Gold Retrievers. I did it just before Turkles, and I was 11 years old, and I hadn't yet kissed a girl, and so I was on screen up in a tree, and they were like, "Yeah, just kiss really quick," and I was like, "I, I've never kissed a girl, man. Like, how? Are you okay?" Oh my god. <laughs> You can take a sip. I'll take a sip if you want to take a sip. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, no, no, we can't do it. Okay, we we're not doing we it. We go strong. So we kissed on screen. It was my first kiss in the world, and I and after I I went Ugh, and I spit just because I was like all thrown off by. You know and what that's what kind saying? of amazing. Your first kiss in life it was on was screen. screen. Really? Life of an actor. I, I was robbed. <laughs> Of I every experience a child should done? have. Do you consider this done? Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, done. yeah it's that's done. That's done. That's done. <laughs> Lana, you've extended for us. My and here we go. Hurting. I think I touched them with. Don't how? Don't don't touch your eyes. No, how do you bring five towels on set and then end up touching your eyes? You know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you know, the same reason I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, my guy. Is it not building on you? It, it'll go away, I promise. Did you do? It's a full tongue. Lana, we're gonna keep the attention on you over here, yep. okay? Because <laughs> your co-star, he's known for these philosophical musings on Twitter. A highlight being, how long does it take to fall in love? Depends how fast you jump. Come on now. So Did with you tweet that, that in mind, I guess. So with that in mind, I want to play a little game called Who Said It? Noah or Plato? I'll give you the quote, I gotta, no, and then I you tell me. Come on, bro, you got this. If Noah said it or if Plato said it, there is a difference. I can do this. I can do this. Get all three right, and you're in the clear. But one wrong. It's in my chest. Okay, let's go. We're gonna chase it. We're gonna okay. chase that pain water? in your chest. Is that how this goes? Okay. First up. Yep. You got this. Come on. It's a blessing and a curse to look behind the curtain. Noah or Plato? That's a Noah. That is a Noah. Yep. That is a Noah. That's a Noah. Lana's still alive here. Lana, come on. You All right, to this the second. next no, I one. Got this. I got Sometimes this. saying how you feel is powerful enough to change how you feel. Um, wait, just a quick eye contact. That is a Noah. That is Noah. That yeah. is Noah. We are on, two for this. two. Hello? One more to on, go. Baby. Let's go. Love is a serious mental disease. I think that's a Noah. That comes from Plato. Dang! No, Lana! Dang! You gotta eat this. Okay. That sounded like Archer. It's Lana! It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I know. It's fine. It's fine. Just one bite. Oh no! Look. Those seeds. Those are Those seeds. Those are like a little. Don't eat a seed. It's like way worse. Probably just don't. Just you know, little tiny nibble. I'm shaking. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was. Noah, as we previously mentioned, you've been dubbed the internet's boyfriend, which, while flattering, yeah, yeah, yeah. seems like a potentially difficult relationship to keep up. Mm. Do you have one complaint about how fans or blogs handle their relationship with you online? Because if there is. A lover's quarrel, I think truth or dab is the place to air that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so what's interesting with that whole, like, relationship, I love how you're over next to me going through something right now. <laughs> it's a bizarre setting for it's, you. Know? it's hard to just talk about it like nothing's happening. It's okay, it's okay, we got it. Um, 
What's interesting is you do things and then people all of a sudden are like, what the fuck are you doing? But, I can curse, right? Is that all right? Am I allowed to curse? You'll beep it out if I'm not. You'll put like, like a little rooster or something over my mouth. <laughs> uh, um, you know, you make funny decisions as a joke to yourself and your friends and like like bleaching a beard and then people are like, <gasps> fuck you. Like, what are you doing to my face? And you're like, no, 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 wait, it's my face. You know? <laughs> and, so it's just, but I don't have qualms with that. I think it's an interesting dynamic how people feel like they, you know, they, they have this you right have no taste ownership. Buds? <laughs> Damn, I was like, I'm going in, I'm gonna beat him. I, <laughs> I haven't eaten strong. this one. Wait until I eat this one, then it's gonna be a problem. Should I just eat this one? Or do we have, how many more questions do we got? One what was more. your answer? I had zero attention on that whole story. One more question? There's one more question. I might as well eat this, right? I feel like, you know, cause then, I, then it's this, but then it's this one. We gotta be on the same page. I got you on. What a co-star. Teammate. Let's make some noise. Mm -hmm. Whole production couple by clapping. All six people. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. I feel it. I'm with you now. I feel it. I'm with you. I'm snotting. Everyone on the same wavelength, except for me. Except you. It's fine. I'm not pissed at you, right. bro. But I can just say really quick though, I don't really have complaints. I enjoy being the internet's boyfriend. It's an honor. I'm not saying you can't judge me or feel like you're entitled to an opinion about my face. You know, fuck it. It's your face too. You know what I'm saying? We're in this together. This is a this is a mutualistic relationship. So I love you. If you have a problem with me, go ahead. Say it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's it. Let's do this. Oh my god, that's just like spicy, I bro. Feel like I just Come like, on. like burnt a fireball. Do you lightheaded? Like a little dragon. <sighs> All right. You haven't had a single scent? I want scent? that. I want that in slow motion. <sighs> All right. Uh, this last question. It's a team can't effort. Do it. It's for both of you guys. <laughs> Anticipation for this near Valentine's Day release uh -huh. of "To All the Boys I've Loved." P.S. I still love you. Uh -huh. Okay. Is high, and there is already a tidal wave of fan theories online. Mm -hmm. Rumors about this love triangle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, at the risk of maybe getting a wrist slap from Netflix, possibly sued, who knows? Okay. Who does Lara Jean end up with in this film? Peter or John Ambrose McLaren? Is this coming out before the movie? You're a dick. Is this coming out before <laughs> the movie? Is this coming out before the movie? It's coming out before the movie. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's a good question. No. We don't have a choice. No. Dude. We're screwed. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Wait. Pep talk. Pep talk. <laughs> pep talk. You start. Pep talk. <laughs> Go. Look, pep talk. Look at me. You look at me. Okay. Before, I was the one who's freaking out. Now, you're yeah. freaking out a little bit, okay? I am. I won't be sued. Did I have a reason to freak out before? Yes. Yeah. You're the only sane one right now. Me? Yep. <laughs> okay. But this is what I'm saying. Because you're saying. <laughs> I got the you, burps. You're rational, right? You're a rational person. You're saying you're rational. Yeah. You know we're gonna get through this. Yeah. Other people this, have done this. This will end. And you're gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna get through this, and it'll end. This is temporary. Yeah. This, this pain is temporary. Three. Okay. Two. Chills. One. Chills. Okay. Say with me. Say with me. How you doing? Okay. <laughs> what a run down the truth or dab gauntlet. Two co-stars <laughs> sticking by each other's side, supporting each other when they need it most. Make sure to check out To All The Boys I've Loved. P.S. I Still Love You. February 12th check on Netflix. Did you swallow it? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get that shit down, dude. It's <laughs> in the molar. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> it's stuck in. Hold on. That was awesome, dude. That was such a elbow make because I don't want to fuck up your hand. That was such a. I'm alright. Okay, we're just gonna get some. How do you feel? Are you okay? Is it bad? It's fucking spicy, man. I didn't eat the third one. You did it! <laughs> Do you want to eat it? Definitely not! You didn't eat the third one? After everything? What's wrong with you?
Whoa! This is Sean Evans checking in to tell you about the Hot Ones Hot Sauce Box, and guess what? Just that fast, it can be yours. And if you're on the fence about it, February is a good month. Why? Because we have a super exclusive, super special, never before tasted, never before seen Hot Ones Super Hot. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, Los Calientes Rojo, I know about that. Er oh, you guys did another version of the last dab? Er wrong again. In this February box, is a new Hot Ones Super Hot that you have not seen before, as well as two other sauces curated by Heatnist. Only one way to get your hands on the great mystery box of February, and that's to visit Heatnist.com. Heatnist.com, Heatnist.com to order. Pick up your box before just like that, they're gone. Bang, bang.